I have begun putting flowers on, which is very exciting. Oh God, what have I done? It didn't work out so well. I projected the whole thing out at somebody else. I've changed my mind. I think this is a lot simpler than it seems. This is not permanent. This is going to get better. I apologise because my voice is rather more compromised than usual this month. I just recorded one bit and I didn't have a voice at all. I just whispered and over the next few minutes it's probably going to fade out completely just like this. So I apologise. Please use the captions if you can't hear me but my voice is not in a great place. For those of you who don't know me, I have, I believe, muscle tension dysphonia, which means my voice doesn't work properly and we will make the best of it. So here I am back with this one piece from down one side of the coat. I have begun putting flowers on, which is very exciting. I began with little four petaled flowers, but these are a bit flat compared to the original coat. So I'm now using a second version of my flower tool with two petals, and that means I can do much more lifelike little flowers look much better. So I'm very pleased about that. <sighs> a couple of years ago I made a video about my voice in which I blamed it on my ex-partner. I projected the whole thing out at somebody else. Three years on I've changed my mind. I think this is a lot simpler than it seems. It's chronic bloody stress over a period of years. That's it. People get all sorts of physical complaints that are ultimately a result of chronic stress. That's what I believe this is. So please excuse me. <laughs> okay, we will do, we can do this. I have always done these very long term projects and it's deliberate. Most people try to build a YouTube channel by doing one project in each video so that it stays exciting. This project is now two years in. After two years we're just starting to see this coming together and seeing what it's going to look like. 
here you can see the edge of one of the pieces where it's going to be beside one of those white sections of lace. This is what you need for a big project like this. You really need to have the vision to be able to see it in your mind before you've created it. Every creative project is an act of faith in yourself. And this is an act of faith in myself. And this is an act of faith in myself. And it's hard at times, but you just keep going, even when it doesn't look smooth and polished. It is worth doing hard things. I have even more of a sense now that these creative arts are a voice for people who are shy or introverted or who don't feel that they have a loud voice in the world, this can be your voice. Everything you do, everything you create, everything you deliver successfully into the world, every creative child you deliver is your voice. This has always been how I express myself best and this is my preferred language. And the strangest thing about my voice is that it does come and go. Some days are better than others. As I said, this is chronic stress, I believe. And the last couple of months, I've added something extra to my plate. I'm teaching a new course and Christmas and everything. Holidays are always a lot. This is not permanent. This is going to get better. So if you are working on an ambitious project, whether it's a creative project like this, or whether it's overcoming something, growing through something, you need faith in yourself. So I am going to keep working and talk a bit less and bear with me. <laughs> I know this looks incredibly time consuming and finicky and like it's going to take forever. And I know there are going to be comments telling me how patient I am, but honestly, I have enough of a complicated life that doing something repetitive and mindless is actually really healing right now. <laughs> These flowers work so much better as two individual pieces that cross in the middle. Unfortunately, my voice is okay today, so... So I should also explain what happened since my last video because I was telling you that I was going to go back and work on the other frame for a while and it didn't work out so well because I got the frame set up, I was filming it and I was just in two minds because when I put it away last time I loosened it on the frame and by the time I got back there, where the fabric was slack, 
the stitching was all puckered. And I was like, oh God, what have I done? Have I stretched it too tight? Is the backing fabric not working well with the velvet? And it sat in the naughty corner for the entire two months I was there because I really wanted to come back here and see how this one looked because I'd also gone away and loosened this so it wasn't under tension the entire time when I was away for two months. Fortunately, this one looked fine. So I don't know what I've done with the other one. I think I've probably made the stitches too tight. So there may be some unpicking in my future or something, I'm not quite sure. In the meantime, I can finish this one fine. I am a fan of having done the smallest piece first because this piece has felt a lot more achievable. I'm feeling like I've found a rhythm and I'm more used to it and you know doing a bigger piece is more achievable now. So right here I've come to the edge of this panel so this the white line here goes down the edge of the side back down here will be one of those white panels of lace and this at the end of this cluster of flowers I've just done this is one of the places where the flowers kind of spill over the edge onto the lace and you can see on the pictures of the original coat there is a piece of velvet there but it's not clear whether they have finished the flowers here like this at the edge then folded the piece over and put the lace underneath and then added another little piece of velvet with a few more flowers or whether they've sewn some flowers on here and then cut around it you know, I've been a bit uh, concerned about which way it is and I'm thinking it would be better to sew the flowers on over that edge and cut around like that because I think at this edge where I sew the little extra bit on it's going to sort of fold. It's going to be obvious that there's an extra bit there so it turns out to be the wrong way it's easier to take those flowers off and change my mind than it is to put them on so I'm gonna just snip where I've got a piece of thread marking the edge so now I can put these last couple of flowers on as ever it's French knot twice around the needle and back through you go. One of the best things I did for myself last year was to build a reliable sewing practice that makes it really easy for me to get to this chair and work on the coat regularly. I actually taught a class on it at the end of July and I know some of you were there but over time however good and reliable our creative practice is we tend to fall off the wagon a little bit and that isn't wrong it just is it's just what happens for all of us so you have to revisit it and hit reset from time to time you get present review what's really going on without judgment, see what's working and what isn't and adjust whatever you need to so that you can refresh yourself and keep going right through to the finish line. So over the last couple of months of the year things certainly went off the rails a bit for me and so I'm going to do exactly that now. Review, reset, refresh and again I'm going to share as I do that. So let's get together online on Wednesday January 31st for a class on how to build and sustain a regular sewing practice and keep going 
over the long term until it's finished. You are 100% invited and it's going to be free to join in. It's going to be neurodivergent friendly so that you can learn or review with me and make your sewing into a practice that you spend time on regularly without guilt. I want to help us all ensure that our most cherished projects actually get done and we get the joy and nourishment we need from them. We live in a very busy, distracted world now and I think we owe it to ourselves to find real strategies to make and finish more of the projects that we dream about so that we can actually enjoy wearing them. If you're with me and you'd like to build or review and refresh your own sewing practice, the link to sign up for that is up here and in the description below and I'll put a link at the end of this video too. I'll see you there. Oh my god, I made it! <laughs> oh, okay.